This video is going to show you how to get started with the Arduino IDE software so you can start doing your sketches and programming your Arduino. To begin with, if you have a school computer, it's already installed on the school computer. If you have some other kind of computer that you're trying to install the Arduino on, you want to go to A-R-D-U-I-N-O, that's Arduino.cc, and then download the software. Once the software is installed, here's how we're going to run it on a Windows 8 machine. I'm going to press the Windows key and I'm going to search for the word Arduino. Arduino, I've got a couple of choices, a couple of different versions. I'm going to select the top one, but I'm going to right click on the word Arduino and go down to where it says Run as Administrator. You've got to do that, it's running through Java and it needs permission to run. And then I'll click on Yes. Now it's all set. If I didn't right click, it'll start up with a screen and then it'll give me an error. And then I have to go back and start all over again with right clicking. All right, so I'm all set up, or almost set up, and I'll go to the top of the screen where it says Tools. If you have something like a Macintosh or a different operating system, it might have a menu bar at the top of the screen where it says Tools, and I'll go to Tools and go down to Board, and make sure it's selected the Arduino. What you don't see is on the side, I already have my Arduino plugged in, so it's recognized that. But if I didn't, I would type in Arduino Uno. That's what we're using today, Arduino Uno. And then I'll go to Tools, and i got to have a way to communicate, so that's going to go through the serial port. In this case, this computer I've only got one set up, that's COM7. Sometimes you have multiple ones, and you select the, the port that will talk to the Arduino. So if it's not communicating, that's probably what it is. And you're all set. Um, you type your sketch in down here, or copy and paste it in, in the case of some of the things that we're doing. You can verify the code by clicking the check. You can upload it to the Arduino if it's connected using this right arrow button. And then you can open a file and, close and uh, save a file. Easy enough to use, and you're all set up and running.